Thank you, Tracy. It's a pleasure to be here. My name is Evan Reese, and I am a structural engineer in California, and I am the executive director of the U.S. Resiliency Council. So I'm going to show you a tale of two buildings today, two businesses and 100 employees, all part of one community. But we're going to start with something fun. We're going to show you a video of a real live shake table test that occurred in Tokyo, Japan. Now, in this test, one building's been retrofitted, but one building has not. All right, well, that was pretty dramatic. I, I assume you, you can figure out which one was retrofitted and what wasn't. But let's imagine that this didn't happen in a test in Tokyo. Let's, ha let's imagine this happened in Southern California one evening. And let's imagine that these buildings are not homes but were commercial properties. So the building on the left, the retrofitted building, belongs to a man named Tony Lopez. And five years ago, Tony invested about 2% of the value of the building in seismically retrofitting it. And the biotech company that occupies most of the building, we'll call it Cancer Cure, has more than $10 million worth of equipment needed to do their research. Fortunately, because Tony retrofitted that building, there was minimal damage in the earthquake that hit downtown Los Angeles, and within three days, all of their employees were back to work. Cancer Cure informed its investors that it's still in business, the cash kept flowing, and they were able to pay their lease and keep their employees on, on the job. Well, what was the return on Tony Lopez's investment? Well, Tony preserved his most valuable asset and continued to receive lease revenue without interruption. Cancer Cure was cash flow positive with only minimal losses that their insurance covered. Their employees kept a steady income and full employment. And the community benefited from both the businesses and the employees continuing to work, earn, and spend, keeping the community economically sound. But the building on the right belonged to a guy named Joe Smith. And although he owns several buildings in Los Angeles and he has decent cash flow, Retrofitting the buildings was never really part of his long list of things that he needed to do to keep those buildings maintained. Well, after his earthquake, after the earthquake, his tenant, Toymakers Incorporated, is wiped out. All of their equipment and inventory is destroyed, and since this was their only location, they had no backup. Toymakers has liability insurance, but that doesn't cover earthquakes. And like 90% of owners in California, Joe Smith did not have earthquake insurance on his building. Toymakers had a big delivery scheduled for an upcoming festival in Nebraska, so four of their employees were working late that night to finish the job. Unfortunately, they did not survive the building's collapse. A week after the quake, the families of these employees sued Toymakers and Joe Smith for wrongful death. Toymakers' unique product was to be a key feature of a festival in Nebraska, so the organizers had to scramble, reprogram, and source the material elsewhere. And two weeks after the festival, they sued Toymakers for breach of contract. Toymakers was not only wiped out physically, but also wiped out financially. Their 35 employees are without paychecks or jobs. Most were low-wage workers, living in the limited amount of LA's affordable housing, most of those buildings weren't retrofitted either, so now some are jobless and homeless. So what were the consequences of Joe Smith's lack of investment? Well, he suffered a total loss of his investment and lease revenue and is facing millions of dollars in personal liability claims. Toy makers goes bankrupt. They're also facing personal liability claims. The employees have lost their jobs and several their lives. The community struggles to feed and house the employees and clean up the destroyed building while suffering the loss of tax base, 
from the devastated businesses. But it doesn't have to be this way. The U.S. Resiliency Council is a nonprofit organization with the mission of improving community resilience one building at a time. We have an earthquake performance rating system. Think about the crash rating you find on every car you buy so that you can learn about the resilience of the buildings where you live and where you work. We are looking to help owners, insurers, lenders, and communities develop incentives to encourage retrofit and resilience-based design. Right now in Los Angeles County, the scenario on the right, the unretrofitted scenario, is all too likely for many of our buildings. This partnership behind me aims to change that, and the U.S. Resiliency Council is proud to be supporting it. Seismic resilience has been my life's work, and so it's exciting to see the commitment of this partnership to making Southern California stronger now and in the future. So let's hear from each of our partners with their perspective. Stephen?